In this video, we are going to make a simple command handler and a help command for that handler. But what is a command handler? Command handling is a way to separate commands into different files. So you don't have to spam if statements in your index.js file. So basically, it's for organizing your code. Also, this is part of the series how to make a discord bot without downloading anything so, if you're new here be sure to check out this video first, link is in the description. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you gotta do, is make a commands folder. You can name it anything, commands is not necessary. Now add a file named pjs. First we have to define fs module in our code. There's no need to install it from packager as it comes pre-installed. Clients.commands is same as cans commands, except it's helpful in global declaration. I will explain it better when it is being used. New discord.collection is where we creating a new collection. It works like this. Consider you have some data in these locks. And there are three different keys to unlock them. You put the key in, and you've got the data. That's how our discord.js collection works, no rocket science in that. You will understand this better, when it is being used. Make sure what you have written here, is exactly same as what you have written here. This line goes through our commands folder and filter out all files that end with .js. Note that I used backticks here not quotation marks. You can find backtick the above tab key. We use the collection here, saving commands by the key, which is their name. Now we can access it later by its name. You need to put your bot prefix here. Please make sure to not add any spaces. It can be anything like symbols. You can also have words or phrases as prefix. This line means that, if the command doesn't exist, do nothing. You can also make the bot reply the command doesn't exist. Now go to ping.js. We made our first command in our command handler. Let's try it.
so before to create a new command you to have use this. Now to create a new command first create a file with the name of the command you're creating plus .jf. Now start writing the code in this format. Before we make a help command, let's make a say command as a bonus. Oh by the way you can just use exports.run. Module dot is optional. You will also have to do this in index.js. This code disables everyone and role mentions. One thing I forgot to mention. You will have to put module.exports.name equal command name at the end of every command. Now let's make help command. Notice how I could use client.commands in a different file with no declaration. This is called global declaration. Before I end this video, you might know the language we are using in this series is JavaScript. Would you like me to make a series on JavaScript? If so please, let me know in the comments section. Alright this is it for this part, do let me know what you want for the next part. Bye bye.